My Uber driver experiences are- Yo, Adam, wait. What? You can't be saying them names, man. You ain't getting paid. Oh, shit, you're right. Um, my- like a taxi but not experiences? That'll do. So my like a taxi but not experiences are some of my favorite experiences with people. You can meet some of the nicest slash weirdest people taking one of those things and you all know how much I love talking to people. It's also an easy way to meet others and practice your conversation skills. For example, this one time I was in downtown LA and needed a ride to West Hollywood, so I called up a new, uh, I mean, Uber, a taxi-like thing and hopped in. I was greeted by this really nice middle-aged black mom who was not really afraid to speak her mind. <laughs> Hello. Hop in, sugar tits. I gotta get you to your destination fast and go pick up my kids. Straight into the point. I like that. While we were driving, it got a little awkward silency, so I tried starting up a conversation by asking how her day was. And oh. How the simplest of questions can stir up the mightiest of conversations. This lady starts going on about how her kids were annoying her because they were 21 acting like preschoolers. And how she has to take care of her sister's kid who's acting like a delinquent. And all this other stuff that was just like, whoa, I just asked you how your day was. But to be honest, I was into it. <laughs> I was just sitting in the back seat like, ooh. Girl, if I was you, I would whoop that child's ass so fast the Flash himself would be all like, Holy fr that dude is fast. Realistically though, the lady was super nice and I had a really awesome conversation with her. Also, it just seemed like she was happy being able to vent a little bit, so I'm, I'm glad I could listen. She was really nice. Sometimes though, you won't get so lucky having a nice sassy black mama with you to talk to. Cause this one time, I was with my buddy Jameson driving in our taxi thing and I decided to spark up conversation with our driver. He had this super thick accent and was actually pretty nice at first, but then he asked, So, what do you guys do for a living? So I told him, cause I ain't insecure about my job, I worked hard for this new American dream, gosh darn it! We're YouTubers, we do PowerPoint, I mean, <laughs> animation. That's when I learned that maybe this guy wasn't the right person to tell that. Oh, so do your famous YouTubers! Well, I wouldn't exactly call us famous. Listen, I have a job. Business opportunity for you to make billions! Trust me, it's a great plan. Go on. I have script for kids TV show and you animate for me? And we launch in Homer Country Packard Store, I don't know what it's called. And we make boys and girls happy and we make lots of money! Jameson and I were just sort of like, okay cool, anyways. But the dude was extremely persistent. Look, my brother has studio in back of blah 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 and has made great movies before. You know that Johnny Johnny yes Papa vids that weirdly showed up? It was basically those. I, I freaking missed out. I missed out on a great opportunity. Take my card and we can chat more about it later. What is number? In my head, I was like, I don't, I don't freaking know this guy. I don't want to give him my number. And I said, sorry, man. I don't give my number to people I don't know. But Jameson, being the freaking passive sausage he is. Here's mine. <laughs> that's, that's him. That's what he sounds like. Did you not learn anything from Walmart? Good thing though was Jameson was a little prepared. Ended up giving him a fake number. Sometimes though you can get a little mixture of both weird and nice and those people are just great. <laughs> I once had a driver that was pretty chill to talk to but the things he was saying was just... <laughs> it was out his ass. He was lying. So what's the craziest thing that's happened to you while being uh... And driving people around. I did. <laughs> I get some crazy fine girls in here all the time, man. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, that's uh, that's not what I asked. There was this one time where this girl might have been drunk. I don't know. Got in my car and was acting all flirtatious and stuff, <laughs> telling me how hot I am and whatever. Next thing I know, she just starts like bending over and like doing age appropriate stuff to me. <laughs> Dude, it's freaking tight. It's tight. It's freaking tight. <laughs> I don't know how to re I don't know how to react to like even myself. <laughs> Dude, getting up all on this, yo. It, it was so dope. You'd be surprised how much age-appropriate stuff a like taxi but not a taxi driver gets, man. <laughs> it's, it's like a lie thing. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I can't prove he's lying, so good for him, man. Good for him, making a. Life choices. <laughs> I guess the weirdest part of that is our, our conversation beforehand was super mundane, and then all of a sudden he hits me with how much girls want his wee-wee. I didn't know how to react, so I just 
went along with it and congratulated him on his lady man skills. Con congrats, man. Getting them, uh, making, um, you, you did it. Yay. Yeah, man, girls always throwing themselves at me because I, like, drive them around and stuff, and this, yo. <laughs> It's crazy. Well, you heard it here first, my fellow dudes. You can't beat them. Join them. <laughs> Is that even work in this context?